Today, I'll walk you through the key functionalities for Premers, the e-commerce web app in ASP.NET Core MVC using .NET 8. Let's dive in. When first running the web app, things like the home banner, products, FAQ, and blogs are all empty. We can register an admin account to set up everything. The first account will be the admin account by default. Assuming the first person who has access to the web app is the admin. Everyone else who registers using this form after that will be a regular customer account. I've already done the basic setup. Now, let me demonstrate module by module. By the way, all the images are from Pexels and for demo purposes only. Let's add one more home banner now. This banner is about the cleanser category, so I'm going to copy the cleanser category link and save it as the button link for this banner. If you don't want to publish it first, you can just save it as a draft. I'm going to publish it now. Okay, let's go to the home page to see the effect. It's there. We can actually arrange the home banner sequence. Click Arrange Sequence. I'll switch the sequence for the last two banners. Next, let's add a new FAQ. Now, let's go back to the home page to see if the FAQ is shown. Yes, it's there. We can also click the Arrange Sequence button if you want to change the sequence. Now, let's move on to the blog category. Okay, this category has no blog post for now. Let's add one for it. We have a rich text editor for the blog post, so you can format the blog post content however you want. If you don't want to publish it now, you can leave the published field unchecked, but I'll publish it now. Okay, let's explore the blog page to see if this appears there. It's there. So this is how the blog post looks to all the public visitors. Everyone can share the blog too. Now, let's move on to the product category. This is the add product category page. After saving it, it will appear on the home page and also in this categories drop down list here. Next, the important part, adding a new product. We can set the product title and description. The description has a rich text editor, so we can format it. The unit weight field is used to calculate the shipping fee if you choose to use the unit weight shipping fee setting from here. We'll dive into that part later. For now, the unit weight here is just for reference only because the system is using a flat rate shipping fee now. We can also set this product as a featured product. For the published field, I'll leave it unchecked for now because I want to make sure everything is okay before I publish the product. Okay, next, we have the variation field. Here, we can set whether this product has variations or not. If yes, then we can set different unit prices and stocks for each variation. If no, then we only need to set one unit price and stock for the product. Next, we can upload product images. Either drag and drop them here or click to upload. Okay, click save. Then, set one image as the thumbnail. Okay, move on to the Variation tab. This cleanser has two size options. Add the variation name. Then, click on this Edit button to add the size options. The first size option is 100 milliliters, and the second is 500 milliliters. 
Next, we can set different unit prices for each variation. The 100 milliliters is $80 and the 500 milliliters is $130. We can also set different stocks for each variation. For now, I'll make all variations have a total stock of 500 and a stock balance of 500. Later, after a customer buys this product, the stock balance here will be automatically deducted. Let's say the stock has been refilled, then the admin can also manually edit the stock balance here. Okay, everything for this product has been completed. Let's see if the product appears to the public. Click Shop All. The product is a cleanser. It didn't appear here because I haven't published it. Let's publish the product now. Check the Publish checkbox and click Save. Okay, refresh the cleanser page now. Yes, it's there. Let's click on it. By default, the first variation will be automatically selected. If you change to 500 milliliters, the unit price will be updated too. Of course, if we set different stock for the two variations, then the stock here will also be updated when the customer changed the variation. Now, let's see the setting parts. So, these are all the information that the admin can edit on the general settings page, including the SMDP information, the social links that appear in the footer, the contents in the terms and conditions page, the shipping policy page, and also the privacy policy page. Next, we have the payment integration settings page. Here, you can save your PayPal and Stripe API keys. How do you get the keys? The admin can click on this play button to watch the tutorial video. PayPal Sandbox keys will be used in the development and staging environment. These two are the live keys that will be used in the production environment. The same goes for Stripe. Next, shipping settings. What is the shipping carrier you used? You can save it here. It will appear in the email that customers receive after their order status becomes shipped. We'll dive into that later. As you see here, the system is now using a flat shipping fee. All the orders will incur a $5 shipping fee. Orders above $100 are eligible for free shipping. We can also apply free shipping to all future orders, or we can use the unit weight to calculate the shipping fee as well. So, if you select this, an important note will display to the admin to remind them save unit weight field for each product, otherwise, zero shipping fee will apply to the product. We can set like this. If the order total weight is less than one kilogram, then apply $3 shipping fee. If more than one kilogram, but less than five kilograms, then apply $6. For more than five kilograms, but less than 10 kilograms, apply $15. For orders that total weight exceeding 10 kilograms, apply $25 shipping fee. We can also use location-based calculation. From here, set the store country, state, and city. Then, set the shipping fee to apply if the shipping city is the same as the store city. Also, include the international shipping fee. Lastly, another shipping fee choice is based on the total cost. Next, move on to the shop setting. Here, we can set a call-out banner. For example, free shipping on orders over $100. Then, it will appear on top of the main homepage. Let's say you want to hide this banner. Just delete the text here and click save one more time. It will be hidden when the field value is empty. The admin can also manage the user accounts. In the system, we have three roles, admin, user, and editor. The user is the normal customer account. The editor account will be able to edit the blog category and blog content. As you can see here, the editor can see the blog management links on the left bar. Okay, now it's time to try the add to cart and check out features. Log in the demo customer account. Let's buy the new cleanser product that the admin added just now. Add one bottle of 100 milliliters to the cart. Also, add the 500 milliliters to the cart. Okay, I've changed my mind. Delete the 500 milliliters from the cart. Let's add another product to the cart. Now, let's check out. In the checkout form, 
the customer needs to fill in their name, email, shipping address, and phone number. If the user is logged in and has already saved the details on the My Profile page, then the details will be auto-filled here. The customer can also leave a remarks for the seller. Then, select to pay with a card or PayPal. On this demo website, I've included the Stripe testing card details and PayPal account to test, so no real money is deducted. Okay, I'll select to pay by card. Enter the testing card number. Enter any future date and any three-digit number for the CVC. Enter any name, then click pay. After paying successfully, the user will be redirected to the order detail page. From here, the customer can see the order status. The customer will receive an email confirmation too. If the user is logged in, they can see the order history. Now let's log in the admin account. Go to manage orders. The admin can see the order details to know what items are included in this order. Once the admin ships out the order, they can update the tracking number for the orders. After that, change the order status to shipped. We can bulk edit the order status like this or change the status for one specific order. So before changing the status to shipped, the admin needs to make sure the tracking number has been filled because the customers will receive an email with the tracking number. The customer will see the bell notification too. Click on my orders and the tracking number will be displayed here. Okay, just now the customer bought one cleanser. Let's check if the stock balance has been deducted. Yes, it is. Now, let's try to check out with PayPal. To check out with PayPal, just enter the demo email and password Hit continue, and here you go, it's paid, and the user has been redirected to the order detail page. Now, let's try to refund some orders. Before changing the order status to refund, enter the refund reason in this column. The refund will be processed by Stripe automatically. If the user paid by PayPal, then it's processed by PayPal. After the refund, the status cannot be changed anymore. Now, let's log into Stripe to check if there is a refund record. Go to the Sandbox account. Click Transactions. Yes, there is a refund record. Now, let's see some general features. All the table data can be exported into Excel, CSV, PDF, Word document, and TXD. We can export the products, the orders, and so on. The admin can also filter the products by month, year, category, and more. For orders, the admin can filter them by month, year, and status. In the dashboard, we have some quick links on top. Then, some important numbers like total orders, total revenue, customers, and products. We also have different charts here. The admin can also see the notifications logs, email logs, and error logs. We have dark mode too. And the web app supports multiple languages. Yes, that's all for the demo. I enjoyed working on it. I hope that I can add more features in the future. I hope you enjoy it too. Feel free to try the live demo. Link in the description below. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.